Hey everyone, Justin from Core Performance here with the all new Ice Vents Aero. We are so excited to bring this to you guys. It's been a long time coming. If you follow us on social media, you subscribe to our email list, you know we've been working on this uh, for a little while now. And we're just so pumped that it's finally here that we're gonna bring you both colors today uh, in black and Coyote Brown, 670-1 Coyote Brown. Uh, everything's gonna launch all at once. Every bundle, every package, uh, every variant will be available uh, here shortly. So super pumped, we're gonna just get right into it. Where did Ice Vents Aero come from? So Ice Vents Aero came really from two places. Number one, the rise of low profile, minimalist and scalable plate carriers like Ice Plate Exo that I'm wearing right now. Number two is the use of Ice Vents shoulder pads, Ice Vents classic shoulder pads with t-shirts and low collar uniform shirts like those from 511 or these duty shirts, uh, like the one that I'm wearing, which is the Velocity Systems Boss Rugby. So originally when we designed Icefence Classic, it was designed exclusively for military and SWAT users wearing combat shirts with very high collars. Well, rapidly as Icefence became more and more popular, we had a lot of people running them with t-shirts, uh, Boss Rugby's, and certain brands of uniform shirts that had really, really low collars that were effectively the same thing as a t-shirt collar like the one that I'm wearing right now. Um, but Ice Vents Classics were designed for maximum load like heavy rucks, entry kits, MBAVs, IOTVs, that sort of thing. So they were uniform, uh, or they are uniform from front to back, and they weren't really optimized for this type of collar arrangement. So we needed to address that as well. Uh, what we've created is something that we are ex incredibly excited about. Uh, the inspiration actually comes from Formula One cars and the tapered shape and uh, how that kind of helps with aerodynamic flow. We won't really dive into that too much, but that's sort of the, uh, the impetus and the genesis for Ice Fence Aero as a shape. Uh, I'm wearing it on Ice Plate Exo right now, and I wanted to do this specifically so that you could see how Ice Vents Aero creates standoff from the plate carrier shoulder pads but you can see from this top, there's literally no ice vents arrow protruding or sticking out from the shoulder pad uh, or from the shoulder strap of Ice Plate Exo. However, it has essentially a landing pad front and back so that on the sensitive parts of your collarbone and your shoulders, you still get maximum load bearing protection to uh, keep that load off of your bones, off of pressure points, and pre prevent any hot spots. And one of the, the most things that we're most excited about, of course, is the full range of motion, overhead mobility. So pull-ups, push, uh, pull-ups, chin-ups, uh, rope climbs, rappelling, uh, really any overhead movement, even prone, because that's like an overhead movement-ish, but in a lateral prone uh, laid down position. Uh, ice vents arrow are gonna be the jam. I know what you guys are gonna say. Nobody wears a plate carrier or in the prone. I know that's true, but that's not the point. The point is really just focusing on overhead mobility. And you can see there's really nothing to get in the way. Uh, and we're really super excited about that. But there's a neat little uh, side benefit that we engineered into Ice Fence Aero in the process. And we realized that while we were designing Ice Fence Aero that it was perfect for another part of the body, namely the hips. Okay, so Ice Fence Aero are also perfectly contoured to allow for uh, your upper body and your hips to work with the pads. Uh, kind of can't see it from there, but or maybe you can see it here. Uh, and it really contours nicely to your body and it makes a huge difference. Uh, I personally didn't even realize how much of a difference it was gonna make until I started testing our early prototypes. And man, it was just awesome. So we've reconfigured the bundles to have uh, Ice Vents Aero mixed in there. But it's really important to note that Ice Vents Aero are not the be all and all. They don't replace Ice, Plate, Ice Vents Classics. Uh, they are meant to augment. They are part of the ecosystem, okay? So Ice Vents Aero are great for the hips, but they're not great for the tailbone, okay? So that's why the uh, Duty Belt bundle comes with two Ice Vents Aeros for the hips and one Ice Vents Classic for the tailbone slash small to back. Likewise, for uh, standoff ventilation pontoons, Ice Vents Aero, not as good as Ice Vents Classic, so we don't sell them in the standoff ventilation pontoons for that. We're still rocking Ice Vents Classic, like you can see right here. Uh, so that's just a quick rundown of Ice Vents Aero, Ice Vents Classic, 
how you can set it up on your kit. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. You know we get back to you right away. You can also shoot us an email, info at coreperformance.com, uh, or pick up the phone. We actually answer it. Like, we don't have a phone system. We actually pick it up by design uh, so you can speak to us and whenever you need uh, during business hours, we're always available. So hopefully that helps, guys. If you uh, need anything else, just let us know, and uh, we look forward to uh, the next video. Until then, stay frosty.